CSR is very, very dear to our, our, our heart um, at Airtel. And I think it's because it's part of our heritage um, as Airtel, um, right from our home in India, where we're probably one of the um, biggest providers of education services to disadvantaged children. Um, so at Airtel, we believe very strongly in health. We, we believe in health, we believe in education, we believe in community, and we believe in sports. So we very clearly define these four areas as our area um, of focus. So if you take in an area such as um, community, for instance, we were the first to launch and sustain um, our flagship program, which is called Touching Lives. And um, Touching Lives literally is about touching lives. And I absolutely love that platform because on that platform, we rely on people in the community for them to tell us who deserves to be recognized and also supported to drive their initiative further. Um, so for instance, we um, had a lady who um, was a breast can is a breast cancer survivor. She set up a foundation because she's um, a, a fairly, um, she feels she's lived a fairly good life. She's an, um, you know, a, a mature lady. And she said to me, you know, I set up this foundation because when I lost my husband and he bequeathed all his, um, his wealth to me, I felt I needed to help other women who may not have been as fortunate as I, I was to receive um, the treatment. So we brought her in and as part of our Touching Lives platform, people recognized her and supported her further in that area. When you talk about um, education, for instance, we built a whole classroom block for the Adaklu um, Salvation Army School to support disadvantaged school children to have access to education. We've done, this, uh, we've done similarly on, um, on sports. So for instance, um, most recently, um, um, which I don't know how long you've been in Ghana for, but we sponsored the Millennium Marathon in Ghana which um, I'm quite proud to say we ran in as well. <laughs> Don't ask me how long I ran for. Um, but also, we, um, for five years running, have had a program, a platform called Airtel Rising Stars. And Airtel Rising Stars is completely unique because it's a football talent identification platform. For, you know, for want of a better expression, in Europe we'd call it like a scouting platform. But what we do with Airtel Rising Stars is that we go across the entire country. Entire country. Last year we had 20,000 young people of, you know, or teenagers come out to, for trials. And what we do is that we put together teams across the country, have them compete and bring out the best teams to come out and, and compete for the national um, championship. On this platform, we work extremely co closely with um, the Ghana Football Association. So it's that serious. It's on a national level. And I'm very proud of the fact that quite a number of our stars have gone on to great success.